Good morning, folks. We've got a majority of focus on space weather today. We're also going to hit some severe weather and an interesting but fundamentally flawed astronomy discovery. But we've got geomagnetic activity in the last 24 hours on our star to start. There were a couple filament collapses while a brief break from solar flaring set in. One filament was on the south, the other was on the north. Sunspot number is very high right now, and there is a good probability of M-class solar flares today. The two filament collapses were on the south and on the north near central longitudes, but neither has released a CME in Earth's direction. We'll be monitoring the remaining filaments for their potential eruptive activity. But speaking of CMEs, you recall yesterday morning we reported the late arrival of a weak CME, and a few hours later, another one arrived. The second one caused a moderate amount of geomagnetic disruption to Earth's field, and we took a mild, low-level geomagnetic storm for a few hours last night. We do expect more small weak CME impacts starting later tonight and into tomorrow. Let's go to the weather, where Dubai and Oman are taking an incredible amount of flooding. The government had said they're going to try cloud seeding to amplify the rain. It looks like they overshot their mark in a big way. In fact, the storms continued into Oman, where several school children were flooded and unfortunately lost their lives. This is one more reason why weather modification and trying to play God in the sky is a terrible, terrible idea. Also caught the Weather Channel trying to slip this one in there. Warming causes extreme cold ocean events. Yeah, of course it does. I'm surprised they even reported on the cold events at all, to be honest. Last but not least, Channel veterans, you know there are major problems with black hole science, but still something enigmatic and unusual certainly exists out there that takes that name. And they found the most massive in the stellar range and several others in the new Gaia release, including one only about 2,000 light years away they say is 33 times more massive than the sun. We greatly appreciate your support, eyes on the solar wind tonight, and the sunspots for more flaring. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.